Hi Army, hello, Na, how are you? I feel strongly called those days to heal you guys, you know. The days are filled with feeling missing, like I feel a lot of missing energy right now, a lot, a lot. It's like I feel very heavy during the day. Then I feel very light. Then I feel heavy again. You know, for me in my life, there's nothing special going on. You know, um, I don't have any... Well, I, of course I have worries about my job. and um, But I worked it out with many of my students. So, you know, a lot of my students work online with me now. So I can hold my business. So that's good, you know. Um, I still have a hard time working through this corona thing because um it's not business as usual you know but we worked it out and i'm very happy i have very very nice customers very nice students that really wanted to help me so next week our vacation here but still some of my students they still take lessons because they know i need my work otherwise you know i can't hold my business and um, so I'm very thankful for that. On the other hand, like there's nothing going on what's different other than that. And because I worked it out, I don't feel heavy myself, you know. So I know this energy is coming from somewhere else. And I know where this energy is coming from. And you guys probably know too. So, whew. It gets clear to me like every day it gets clear to me that um, you know my soul mission is really to help people my soul mission is to help you heal I feel called and when I've done a reading like you know the one I just um, uploaded the messages from the boys you know I was sleeping at night I was sleeping and I was waking up and you know I'm not waking up during the night that often I have a very good sleep and um, I woke up this night uh, yesterday night and I just felt I have to do a reading I just want to heal and I just want to be near you guys and you know you're my fellow army and I also have an urge to help you but I'm not that person that wants you know of course I love you and everything but not, I'm not the person because I'm army too I'm not your lover you know what I mean I don't have the feeling I need to be near you all the time but this feeling I have inside of me it's like it's urging me to come online it's urging me to be near you I have the feeling I want to reach out to you I want to help you I want to um those are feelings I have never experienced and those are feelings that are very strong and um it's crazy guys it's crazy and um I know where they come from and you know too. <laughs> but it's crazy, you know. I don't know how this works. <laughs> this changing of energy like between two souls, you know. This is amazes me like all the time. Like I can really feel his energy. I can really feel what he's going through right now. And um, you know, those of you who always like kind of asking me what he's doing um privately you know you just have to watch my twin flame readings my divine masculine readings yeah I, I mean the universe is throwing out energies that you can tell what my divine masculine is doing but um like for readings on what is he if he has a girlfriend and i won't do that you know because big tay will never tell me <laughs> he won't <laughs> because if you know if um if my divine masculine signs up for that and he does that, you know, he has a relationship, then this is for his growth, you know. And um, like my energy does not have to be involved in that. That's why Big Tay holds it away from, you know, the two of us because he always he also protects me. He has a very, very protective energy like Big Tay. He's so protective, like he doesn't even let any masculine energy near me I told you that and he won't let any um, feminine energy that 
maybe my divine masculine is working with right now he wouldn't let this near me so I would not feel that and I also wouldn't know because you know you can imagine how many times I tried to ask Big Tay that I mean <laughs> I'm in love you know you can tell how many times I would sit here and I would ask him Big Tay come on tell me is he single come on tell me does he has a girlfriend has he has a boyfriend you know what is it about him you know I, I would tell that like in the three years I'm awake and you have no idea you probably can think of you would do the same you know and um, after doing that quite some time you know I realized the pattern and that's why I'm, you might not believe me but Big T told me like different scenarios all the time and I was like hey you know I was realizing that's a pattern that's what he's doing to confuse me he would not tell me the truth you know because he's protective of me and um, you know I'm here for healing you guys and we have to heal together and um, if I would know things like that it would d disturb me and I couldn't concentrate on my soul mission and he knows that so he's not bothering me with those things and of course I'm happy for my baby you know he should be happy in life and he should have all the relationships he signed up for but still it would you know it would hurt me of course you know <laughs> even if it's uh, none of our business um, you can imagine how it hurts you you know if you really love someone and you can feel this person around you um it still hurts you know so that's what I just wanted to say of course I'm happy I'm happy if he's happy you know so um I will never ask those things because I want to tell the truth and the truth involves that I'm true to you and if I should be true to you that I'm I'm truing I'm true to you now, I'm telling you how it is. If I would um ask those questions big day, like he would say one thing one day and the next day I would could ask again, he would say me another thing. He will never tell me, okay? So you just got you you know, you can watch other readers and maybe think that's the truth, but he won't tell them too. <laughs> No one should know that. And we, we yesterday we did the divine masculine reading and you've seen why he cannot be authentic. I, show, I mean, he's, he said it, he cannot be authentic. He will not be authentic to the world. No one will know that for sure, you know. Okay, and I don't want that we as a channel, we concentrate on those things, you know. I want to concentrate with you on growth. I want to help you. I really feel he wants to be near you. He wants to be with all of you. You know, that's what I feel. That's why I have this feeling. I want to get up in the middle of the night and do a reading about the messages of our boys. I mean, <laughs> come on, you know. So um, what I want to do now is concentrate on your soul journey. I think that is a very big, important part. And, you know, it's been a while. <laughs> Eight minutes I talked. But I think it's important. So I hope you all listen to that. Um, I want to grab some charms and you guys, you, um, take the pile or you take the charm you, um, you resonate with. Okay. And then I want to concentrate on your soul mission. I want to ask the universe, what is it you need to work on? How far are you? Things like that. Okay. I also remember guys, this is a general reading, so it could pl apply to many of you. It could also be that only parts of the reading resonate. It could also be that nothing in the reading resonates with you, even if you pick a pile. Okay. Those are general readings. But guys, uh, I offer this reading also as a personal reading. So please contact me if you want this reading as a personal reading. I would be very happy. You know, I just told you that, um, I'm very happy if people come up to me and I say thank you very much for all of those of you who um, ordered a personal reading. I'm very thankful for that right now because I really need um, that to keep going with my business. Okay, so I'm very thankful if you guys do that. And so let's start. I just want to get I just want to get charms and we'll see how many come out and what I take as a charm. So many readings we do because the universe know knows who needs answers right now so universe please give me the chance for the reading oh wow 
wow, only three. Oh, wow, I haven't expected this, but that's good. I mean, um, this reading takes some time. So, okay, let's see. We have, oh my gosh, we have the mermaid. I did the mermaid reading yesterday. And you guys said I should do another mermaid reading, so I will do that. Um, I put the topics on my Twitter, so please go there and um, choose the topic. I should do the mermaid pick a card. Okay, what's this? The bunny. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's funny. So, I have to clean my table. <laughs> when you live with a dog, you have like dog hair all over. Sometimes I don't even realize that. <laughs> So I hope that's fine for you. And you see a different angle today from the from my table. So mermaid pile one, flower pile two, bunny pile three. Okay, so we look at your soul journey. We start with pile mermaid. I don't have mermaid cards right now, you know, that would be fun. If, but um, no, I don't want to change it up. I thought I want to take those cards. So, Universe Pile Mermaid, mm. please tell me, what is the soul mission of that army? Like, what's going on with their soul mission? Universe Pile 1, Pile Mermaid, what's going on with the soul mission of this army? Or of this viewer. What's going on with the soul mission? I just want to get the cards, you know, and we turn it around later, guys, you know, to view it. What's going on with the soul mission? What's up with the soul mission, Palm Mermaid? We have the water, a lot of water here. Soul mission of this army. Panormaid. Soul mission of this army. Panormaid. Mermaid. This wanted to come out. One more <clears throat> soul mission by mermaid. Okay. Give me three tarot cards. Soul mission of this army. Pan mermaid. Yeah. One more. Okay, two more, so we take them. Okay, guys. How much do you see? I must look because the angle is different now from the camera. So I can start here. This, you see this here and this. Okay, but we'll see, you know. Okay, Palm Mermaid. Let's see, this is the first card and I also, oh wow, water spirit. It's what I said. The mermaid, you know, it's the water spirit. Look at this card. It's so beautiful. Is it focusing? Oh yeah, the, the woman is, um, you can't even really see her on the card. It's also blurred. Um... So it's called Water Spirit, number 43, Emotions, Memories, and Life Force. Oh, that's what I said. That's why the mermaid is here. So you could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So let's see what's up with that water. Oh, I don't want that it gets burned. Yeah, let's put it here. And I want to put this open water spirit, take a leap of faith. You go first, the universe will catch you. So I think um, 
right now you're in the process of making a decision if you should go or if you should not go and you're a little bit afraid I think it says it has something to do with your feelings and you're a little bit afraid to jump to go first in your soul journey like to jump right in it's like you're still hesitating it's like you're hesitating to jump that's what I feel because it also says emotion, memory, life force, yeah. I feel here that um, it's okay to jump in, okay? The universe is saying, yes, you can take a leap of faith. It's no problem. Um, you can take all your emotions in whatever this is, you know. You can make this happen. Uh, let's see okay what else we have here oh wow so, yeah look at this wow look at this wow you're on this this is a mission on your soul journey also for you i see that it's very important um to be in on the soul mission that you go and um i think it's right right now it's happening um that you go on your soul journey you know you might just have be awakened and um maybe before you were not awakened maybe you just awoken like some months ago and you're still hesitating to go on your soul mission because you're you're still thinking, um, what is this? You know, is this a soul mission? Is this not a soul mission? Um, and I think the boys came into your life to awaken you. I really feel that because it it says all the same here. Go on your soul mission, take a leap of faith. You know, um, water spirit. Let's see what else it's saying. I want to look at the tarot cards, five of pentacles. This is like feeling abandoned, feeling not belonging. That's what I also f always see when you are on a soul mission. It's like the mermaid being, um, you know, the mermaid is all about being someone. That's why you also at feel attracted to mermaids a lot on my channel also, because you're different than other people, you know, and that means you are on a soul journey. And maybe you have asked yourself, why am I different? What, what is it that I don't feel like as if I belong? You know, yeah, you feel you feel really separated from the pack. We have the nine of pentacles and look at this beautiful woman here. Can you see that? Is it, fo is it focusing? Yeah. Look at how beautiful. You really like animals. I see that you might have a bird or a parrot or yeah like a falcon you might be drawn to those animals the wild spirit because you want to be free i feel here you want to be free this is also about your soul mission your soul journey you want to be free with your feelings you want to be free to flow like to run in the water to flow where you belong i feel like you have never had the feeling you belong it's like you always be you know, the light is shining on you, but it's like, look at this woman's, she's afraid. Look at her eyes. She's like, uh -uh, you don't get my butt, baby. <laughs> That's how it looks. So this is, feels like you're also very protective of yourself. The seven of swords. People have always left you in your life, left you alone. That's what I feel. People always left you. You have the feeling. It's like, you know, people don't leave you alone. Like, even if they leave, there's a soul mission behind it. There's a soul journey. And, um, you know, we feel abandoned because this is abandonment. You know, you don't feel this confident. You cannot feel this because 
you feel like you don't belong and you always have the feeling people steal out of your life constantly. Yeah. And you feel betrayed by people. You know, the five of swords, you feel, if you feel constantly in a battlefield, you feel constantly you battle... Um, Can you see this army? I hope this is... The, the lighting is very bad. Let me check this. I have the feeling you don't even see this. I think this is working better, right? So what I feel here is that you're, yeah, you constantly look at, look at this person in the background. That's how you feel. You constantly fe feel battled by life. You feel constantly in a battle and not belonging. It, life is a constant battle for you because a water spirit, that's a mermaid. And the mermaid is Someone mysterious, a mermaid does not exist. So that's how you feel. You have the feeling you don't exist. You're different than anyone else. You have a highly intuitive soul. You're very intuitive. That's what I see here. You, you are an empath. You know, you could become someone like a card reader, you know, someone like me, a tarot reader. Um, someone who works with um, feelings, with people. So you are highly intuitive. That's what I see highly intuitive and you feel you don't belong and you still hesitate to go on the soul journey you're still hesitant what else what is the big theme yeah look at this your big theme let's put it here i hope i hope the flame will not <laughs> come back your big thing is going on the soul journey Leaving everything behind what that did not serve you, you know, it's time for you to step into the light. Look at this. It's time for you to go on your soul mission. It's time for you. You can take a leap of faith, the universe is saying. And also in your life, it's all about people leaving you. It's all about, that's why, because you need to be feel different. The universe is saying no, you need to feel that, you know. You are a water spirit. You are someone who's highly intuitive. You are someone who, with feeling, you decide in life. With feelings, you heal people. And I think you are still hesitant to go on that soul journey. You, so you are not far in your soul journey. You haven't be, even been on that soul journey. You know, for you, it's time to take that step and to um, to leap into that. Whatever has the universe, whatever it is. That you need to go on. Four and the three also equals seven. That's also, you know, the con connection to the universe. And you need to let this in. You need to jump into this connection and go like all the other souls. Uh, go on your soul journey. And I think that's when you begin to belong. When you go on your soul journey and you take that first step. That means you allow the universe to take over. Because I think you still shut the door. You're not stepping into the light. You're not going, you're not out there yet. Because you still fight those energies that people leave you. You still try to find a reason for that. Those cards are blue. This is sword energy. You try to find a reason why. Why does this happen in my life? Why do people leave me? Why am I different? Why am I not confident? Why, um, you know, you're constantly asking yourself why, why, why. And the universe is saying, if you go on that soul mission, once you step your foot on that soul mission, look at this. All those people are with you. You will find your tribe. You will find it, you know. And let's see how you can do this. Flames of wisdom, the groan. What is it saying? I am open to all of life's wisdom and share it with gratitude. See? You are an old soul. That's why you don't belong sometimes. You know, you're very wise. Look at this. You have had many lifetimes. You're very wise. And it's also time for you to share 
this wisdom to um, go on that soul journey and to share that wisdom with other souls. It's like you watch you watch the coals and the fire, you know, you watch your passion. Like, you know you have a passion and you watch your passion, but you don't do anything about this. Oh my gosh, look at this. That's a voyage, soul journey. You feel like the Valian. Please, please listen to the song Valian by our boys. Please, what, please listen to that. That's exactly how you feel. You feel like you don't belong and you feel you want to belong to a mother or father, you know. I think in life you um, probably are also abandoned by your parents. One of your parents maybe left your family or, you know, something like that. But that was part of the voyage. That was part of the sea. Also here you see the sea. And you know a whale is not belonging to the to the air. It's like he's, this whale is like flying. You see this? So why is this whale flying? Why is this whale up in the air? This whale has to swim in the water. And this is what happens to you. The universe is saying you need to go into the water where you belong. You are a mermaid. And I will do the mermaid reading tonight. So to pick a card. So you, will, you need to check that out. Because I think it holds some valuable information. Um, you are that mermaid. And you need to go on your soul journey. You need to go into the water where you belong. Right now you're not where you belong. Okay. You're not where you belong. And that's why you feel this abandonment. And you, the not belonging. Because you're not where you belong. You need to leave there. You need to go where you belong. You belong on a soul journey. You belong to other souls. You belong there, you know. And the universe is saying, take that wisdom now. <clears throat> you're an old soul. You need to heal people. You are not where you belong. And that's why people leave you. Because, you know, be people left you because they had to. That's your, that you see that you don't belong there where those people were. Those are people that left you um, so that you feel this abandonment and so that you ask yourself why, why, why so that you come across my channel that I can tell you this right now, you know. This is all like a flow. You are a water spirit. You are the mermaid. You belong in the water. You don't belong in the air constantly asking yourself why people leave you. It's because they are not your people. They don't belong to you. That's when the universe takes them out. Once you go into the water, once you are in, in your surrounding where you belong to, you will find souls that are with you on the journey. But because you're still hesitant and you don't take the leap of faith, that's why you meet those people. And they can't belong to you. They have to go. They have to leave you because they're different. They, they, they're not your soulmates, you know. So I hope I could um, help you, Pa Mermaid. I think this was a very important reading. I think that's why the universe, uh, threw those three um, charms out. You know, so I hope I could help you guys. And please stay safe. Please stay healthy. And please, you know, please go on your soul mission, Army. Okay, bye, guys. Hi, Army. So you chose pile flowers. So let's see what your soul mission is all about. So universe, please give me the soul mission of and tell me what's going on in the soul journey of pile flower. What does pile flower need to know? What does pile flower need to know? And we get the cards, you know, and then we'll see. What does pile flower need to know? What does Pear Flower need to know? One more, please. Pear Flower. Mm -hmm. What does Pear Flower need to know? One card only. Wow. Wow. What is important to know right now on the soul mission of Path Flower?
I just want to take the first one, the first card that came up. What is that soul mission of Pi Flower? What is important right now? Soul mission Pi Flower. Yeah. I think you are already on that soul mission. Show me what is important to know right now for Pi Flower. So army, I think I have the cards ready. Now I just need to see if you can see it. So I hope you can see all the cards. Yes. So let's see. Let's see what's going on, Pi Flower. So your soul mission. Wow. The mother awakens. Compassion, nurturing, guidance. Wow. Look at this. You could be an earth sign. I feel strong earth energy here, guys. Strong earth energy. The mother in you awakens. This is all about the nurturing. Um, if you are very young army. Um, this could show. That you want to constantly help people. Like you want to help others. Like your friends. It's like you being motherly to other people. And you felt this happening. Um, like some weeks ago. This feeling of. You really want to be a mother or you know how that feels like you want to nurture other people. You want to be there for them. You give advice to people. It's like you, you become more and more the divine feminine. It's like a ray of light coming out of your heart. Oh, let's see. I need more cards and then we can look at all of this. We have trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? Where would you go? Look at this. It's like a desert. You see here a desert. That's where nothing is um, going on. And here is water. Water kind of flowing into the desert. That's like um, you want to nurture. You want to nurture people who are in the desert. People who has lo have lost their path. Maybe you also ask that to people. If you know where to go, what w where would you go? Maybe you even ask that. It's like you want to help others really bad. I want to take this card and it says boundaries. There's like the path to fairyland. You see this here? Is it focusing? This is for me like you show other people the way. Look at this. There is a, you see this little woman here and she's showing her masculine the way or like people. I don't see it as your divine masculine. I see it as people, other people. And it says boundaries. Like um, you show other people, you nurture other people and you show other people how they can overcome boundaries, how they come over, how they come, come over walls they build up you really help people right now it's what i see in your um in the you know the flower you're like a flower you're like you know the divine feminine is a flower it's like you open yourself up to others you open your heart chakra look at this that's why the queen is also here you open yourself up and you help other people to see the way that's what's going on you tell other people the way to the fairyland to the way to the horizon, the way to the vast universe where others can be themselves. You help them. And this recently opened up on your spiritual path. So let me see the tarot. Yeah, look at this, the page of cups, someone offering a cup. So you could be a water sign, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, but I see also Earth's energy, but it could be that this Earth you're very connected to Mother Gaia, you know, the Mother Earth. You're very connected and you get a lot of downloads from, from the universe right now, especially what has to do with, with being nurturing. And um, yeah, I also see that here, really helping people, giving advice, you know, giving with compassion. You show people compassion it's all about fire passion you you really want to help it's like you have this inner fire to help oh my gosh yes look at this 
and the queen of pentacles this is the ultimate mother personality the one that wants to help the one that um yeah i also see you know with this you know with this energy here this um can I put this here? Yeah. With this energy here, with the um, Queen of Pentacles, you see how the... What is it called? I constantly forget the names of the animals. <laughs> oh, gosh. You see how this usually... Um, this animal is very shiny. They stand in the spotlight. But here they are in the background. So you take yourself back. You take yourself back and you help other people. Um, reach their dreams other people yeah you really give advice to people you're like a mother personality for them and we have the hangman yeah you give people a, a new view um, because you through your advice people see a different view on how they get over their boundaries you tell them how to get to this fairy tale because i see disneyland here you know I see this here, Disneyland, like the way to to get to their fairyland. That's how you show. And see how it, she shows that? She says like, look, your fairyland is over there. You need to go, go this way. You know, trust the path. You also encourage people. That's why I see here with the passion. Because usually the Page of Cups, it's a water energy. It's not a passionate energy. But I see here the, the orange, the sacred chakra. It's all about you being passionate, helping those people get a different view. Yeah, and you you really... Um, yeah, the emperor, you give them a different view on how they can be their own emperor. An emperor is someone who dictates his life, like he, he has authority over their life. And you are a person right now, the mother awakens... Um, you show them how they can control their life again. I think you have to do with a lot of people who have has are in the desert. They are lost because look at how this looks like. They are lost. There's someone walking there in the desert here. It's like they don't know the way. I wouldn't even know the way if I look at this card. It's like all patterns and I would not know where to go. So you really are this flower. This cute little flower. That helps others to find their way through the desert. This is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. I really love that. So that's how where you are on your soul mission. And let's see what, what it is. Yeah, look at this. You are the star. You heal people. You are here for healing. The star is all about healing. Being naked. And like your true authentic self your true authentic self shows people with the truth you know that's what i said before the truth is so important and with the truth you water their deserts with the truth you water their deserts i just say it again this is so important and they become their own emperor. They, they make it out of a bad life again. If you help them, you help them heal. This is all about healing. Your soul purpose is all about healing. This is so beautiful. <clears throat> oh, wow. Yeah. And there we have the inner child again. Look at this. So the universe is saying fo forest frolic. And there we have again the nature. I acknowledge my inner child and open my heart to the joy she brings. I want to put, I don't want to burn it again. <laughs> I'm afraid that it burns again. So, um, I think you heal about being happy, being joyful, being childish, being, um, like I saw also see that here with the fairyland, like you heal people with, um, being like this joyful maiden, like feeling very young energy here. Um, like all these light bulbs here, you know, being very happy, being joyful, being in your passion. You are in your passion and because of that, you nurture people. This is so beautiful. Universe is really thankful for you. Oh, yes. Look at this. Look at how 
beautiful rainbow color this is. And you can bet your divine masculine is on your side. Those are two dolphins. Those are two of them. This is all about happiness. And you know, guys, when I see the star, when I see the star and the inner child and the word happiness all together, you know what I think. This is beautiful. What I also see here, you see this? There's the emperor and there's the queen of pentacles. This is you and your divine counterpart also. So this, this means, means also two things. I also see two th different things. By nurturing other people, you help them become their own emperor. But what I also see is that even if you're, the hanged man is between you and your emperor, means there is nothing right now between you and your emperor. Like no 3D. You're, you're speaking on a 5D level. You are on 5D, you are happy. You're happy together and you're very joyful and you feel this energy. And um, in the 3D, your emperor sees you because you heal people. He sees you. He looks at you and he says, oh my gosh, I love my divine feminine. This is all about you guys healing people. Oh my gosh, I really love that. This is beautiful. This is so beautiful because I really see how the universe, I feel how the universe... The universe flies through me right now and it's so happy. It's so joyful. It's so... F I feel like, wow. I see that candle flickering again. <laughs> it's so beautiful. So I really thank you guys if you work with me on this, you know, because I feel here, I feel it very much too. And, um, you know... Thank you for being on this planet, you know. Thank you. The universe wants to say this. Thank you for helping other people. Thank you. Yeah, you, you're in your soul mission. You're totally and you're divine masculine. If you're not with them, they see you. They want to come towards you because you do that. You're very, you are very, um, like you get very, uh, how do you say that? They are really attracted to you doing this. Really attracted. It's like they say, oh my gosh, that's my feminine. Look at her. That's my feminine. That's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing him saying this. This is so cool. He's saying, yeah, look at my feminine. She's doing that. I'm proud of her. This is so beautiful. So guys, that's all what I have for my pie flowers. So let's move on to pie bunny, okay? Bye guys. Love you. So hi everyone. Now we're moving on to pile bunny. <laughs> I wonder why the bunny came out. So let's see. So I hope my camera is working and you guys see a lot of stuff. That's important, you know. So let's see. First, I want to ask for guidance, you know, to get you the information, <clears throat> get the cards. So pile bunny, please, universe. What is the soul mission? What? What is going on right now in the soul mission of Palbani? <clears throat> what is going on soul mission right now, Palbani? I want more. They want one more shuffling. Palbani. What is going on soul mission Palbani? Palbani. Feel this one. One more card. Soul mission pal bunny. What is going on? <clears throat> Soul mission pal bunny. What is it all about right now? Soul mission pal bunny. One more card. So much by Bunny. What is going on right now? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's almost falling. So much by Bunny. Tell me more. Four cards, please. One more.
soul mission pad bunny what's this all about what's going on right now soul mission pad bunny there we have the warrior again this looks like cooks and it wow i feel cookie guys i'm sorry but um i saw the star card i saw um the warrior i mean when i channel cooks energy there's always the warrior so this might be some of one on my channel related to cookie okay so that's why you probably also choose the bunny <laughs> you know but i saw his energy here in here so we'll look at this okay so what's going on pa bunny what's going on with the soul mission oh wow so we have the healing temple look at this wow this looks so beautiful look at this doesn't it look so beautiful so you are also like again like pile two you are healing you are healed for healing it says restoration cure and safety i just you know what just came to mind um the song remedy please listen to that by our boys you know Very beautiful. Let's see what else is coming. Then I can interpret it when I see more. You know, I need more. Yeah, there's... Look at this. This is like, you know, Cook always came out with a warrior the la in, lately, you know, the last month. He always showed army. This is my army card with him. Have you answered your deepest calling? Warrior woman. You are army. You are warrior. Yeah. You fight for healing. You fight for a cure, you know. This is your... Um, you fight for the safety of other people, for cure. So let's see what else this here is going on. <gasps> oh, wow. Look at this beautiful card. Oh my gosh, I have not seen this. This is all about butterflies. This is about transformation. You fight for communication. I'll put this here do you see this yeah wow the warrior woman have you answered your deepest calling i feel like your universe is trying to talk to you because they ask you has we, have you answered your calling we're trying to talk to you we're trying to send you communication i think they also send you communication by showing you butterflies maybe on pictures or outside but they show you butterflies and it has something to do with love because I see the red, um, the color red. And it's all about the, the healing temple, restoration, cure. A cure of communication. Maybe you can't communicate yourself. That's what I feel here. Where can I put this card? <laughs> Confused. I think it's about feeling safe to speak up. Feeling safe to communicate because you, you are a fighter. I think before you were not safe um, to speak up, speak your mind. That's how I feel. You cannot really speak your mind. You cannot say how it really is, but you wish to. And the universe is saying, have you answered your deepest calling? Please communicate whatever your calling is, whatever your communication is. So we, I want to look at that, what this is. We'll see here. Oh, wow. We have the Ten of Pentacles. That's about like abundance, the star, healing and we have the waiting game, seven of pentacles. You're waiting for um, maybe for a job situation, you're healing a job situation and the lovers. Wow, that's about making a decision also. It could be about a twin flame journey. I see love here. That's what I said, the love, the communication in love. You're waiting for communication with your loved one. That's what I feel. You fight for communication because this person is the Ten of Pentacles and the lovers in one deck. Um... You know, this means for me the one, the one, your soulmate. mate. 
there is a you're looking for a cure of communication you're waiting patiently for bits and pieces of communication that's very interesting That's very interesting. I think the star refers to Cookie. I can't help it, but I feel Cook's energy here. For everyone who's not an army, I mean, I feel here strongly you're waiting, you're an army and you're waiting for communication with Cookie. <laughs> but it has to do with your soul journey because. There again, we have the warrior. You see this? The warrior and the star, the healing part. The warrior holding. Look at how gentle he's holding that person. This person means everything to you and you wait till the end of time. You will wait. They, they are your star in everything what you dream about. Like if someone would give you um, like this box of gold, you would say, no, I don't want this. I want this guy. <laughs> Maybe you're also so much in love with Cookie, you're looking for a cure. <laughs> That's what just came into my mind. You're trying to look for a cure because you're so in love with Cookie. And you, you wish so desperately for communication. And you hope this changes because you know you, can't, you can never reach him. Like something like that. And you're an army. And you're going into this temple and you're saying, come on universe, heal me. I'm so much in love. You know? <laughs> That's how it feels. But the universe is saying, no. Have you answered your calling? We sent, we sent you cook because you have a soul mission about communication. <laughs> I really think that's what it is. Oh my gosh, guys. What is this all about? What is this soul mission all about? The six of swords. This is like moving to your destination. Getting where you need to be. Yeah. Have you answered? That's all about have you answered your calling? And you feel, this is really how it is, guys. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Um, it's like you feel so much in love with Cook. I think this is really a Cook pile. Like you're, and if you're not in Cook, you know, um, if you're not an army that's in love with Cook, you know, and um, this is this is all being in love with your divine masculine so much to the point where it hurts like to the point where you you wish for communication and you go into this healing temple and you want to have a cure so you have this feeling right now you want to have a cure of loving your divine masculine so much loving this person this one so please apply it whoever is your one for one of for the armies who who took this because they chose this because they're in love with cook and for everyone else, you know, who, who don't, don't know Cookie <laughs> or, you know, who's not here because of BTS. Um, you're so much in love with your divine masculine to the point that you want to get healed from that. And you're waiting for him healing and you're asking the universe and they say, no, you need to fight for this. Um, have you been, have you answered your calling? Are you on your soul mission yet? And this is like the hurting. Look at this. This card, I always get described by people who feel this. And I also experienced, of course, I experienced um, the Six of Swords myself too, you know. But people um, who describe me this feeling, it's like you want to move on. And it's so much pain moving on. It's so much, it's um, so much pain is comes with that moving on, you know. It's like you want to be stuck. But either being stuck is so much pain because you feel like a widow because you're, you're the one is not with you. And also moving on is like moving through those swords and you, you, you feel like your ship is sinking every time in your feelings. You're drowning in your feelings every time. It's like those swords pierce through your boat and you're like constantly sinking into your feelings and that's what you want to get healed from. <laughs> The universe is saying no. Oh wow, look at this. We have Archangel Michael. I'm grateful for the strength and courage Archangel Michael brings to my life. So Archangel Michael is watching over you. This is watched by angels, guys. 
This is a divinely guided thingy. <laughs> thingy. Yeah, you need to have strength and courage. And the universe is... Um, the theme is um, through the pain, you need to move. The, the theme is not to get stuck. Okay, your big soul mission right now is not to get stuck and fight for communication, you know. There is no communication. This is the change. You want a change in communication. And there is no communication right now with your divine masculine. And this needs healing, you know. And you want to go into that um, temple and you want to heal from your divine masculine. You think you can heal that connection, but actually you can't. This connection is made by the universe. This connection is made by Archangel Michael. One of the most important angels you know you cannot um you cannot cut this cord you have for whatever reason if this is cookie you know it doesn't have to be that cookies your twin flame or your your high level soulmate it means that this connection you cannot cut it because there is some kind of healing to do with that and some kind of with moving on in life constantly moving constantly fighting for your calling there's a f and you know what that calling is. You know what it is because by that connection, the universe is asking you because you're drowning constantly in those feelings. You're missing this person. You cannot communicate. By this drowning, the universe is saying, "Hello, have you answered to your calling? Are you on your way to your soul mission?" Because you constantly get stuck. I feel you constantly get stuck, and that's why they bring you this emotions into and you say oh my gosh i miss him again i want to get healed what is this connection and the universe is saying well the change is coming guys you know the change is coming there is some change you need to move forward um your soul calling has something to do with ch change in life okay and you guys know what the change is if you want to move somewhere else this is about moving some, somewhere else. If, but you're stuck because of fears. You always get stuck through fears. And then they send you, like if Cookie is your bias, they send you him again. And then you get so emotional about him and you miss him so much. And you, earn, you yearn for communication. And then you feel like drowning again, you know. And that's when the universe is saying, come on, move, you know, change yourself. <laughs> This is the this is the doing of an angel, guys. This is a doing this this connection also moves on and gets better when you move. Your soul mission, it's all even if you don't know, there's the moon. It's like she's moving. Look at those cards the same color. You see the color pattern, Army? You move without knowing. You move without knowing. And this is made by the archangel. I want to ask what that calling is. I haven't done this because the piles, the other piles were very clear to me. But this one, I want to know what the calling is. Let me get it with this. What is the calling here? Where should the army move? Towards what should the army move? Ah... You should move towards the truth. So you come, the more you move, the more you change, you will, you will find out the truth. And I think it's the truth about your divine masculine. It's like right now you have a, um, you don't know who it is. That's why you think it's cookie maybe. You don't know who that is. But when you move and change in life, you will find out who that is because this person comes into your life. Okay, because I, I know so of some cook um, biased army that um, don't know if cook is their bias or they know they have an, um, a divine masculine somewhere, but they don't know who that is. And that's why um, they confuse the universe confuses you with cookie um, to make you move. And there is a change and you know what that calling is. That calling is, is finding out who your divine masculine is. You, of course, you have a divine connection. I see that here. You have a divine connection. This connection. But because you don't have a face to that person right now, you cannot miss them. And you know, if you would know who that is or you would have an ex that is your divine masculine, 
you would move faster because you want to be together with that person again, you know. But you have no face to that yet. So that's why they sent you cook, I think. You are in no communication. This is the change that needs to happen. Yeah. Also here, the air energy change in communication. This divine masculine comes in when you move. That's your soul mission. You need to move. You you need to um, you need to know it's safe to move, and you get stuck because you don't know if it's safe to move. But you will move towards your star, your divine masculine, whoever this is. The truth will be revealed because that's your your calling. The calling to move, okay? And it's it's watched by the angels, so don't worry. Everything is safe. Okay, guys? And it could be Cook. It could be somewhere else. But your Divine Masculine will be revealed soon. If you move. <laughs> so that's all what I have. Isn't Wasn't that reading beautiful? So if you're interested in a personal reading like this, um, please contact me via my email and I will do a personal reading for you. Of course, this is... Um, you know, I I, um, I charge for that, but um, it helps me a lot too, you know, guys. And please also subscribe to my channel and like the video and let's communicate under each video. I really like the exchange, you know, with you guys because we're all here to heal. I'm healing, you healing, so everything is beautiful, okay? So I wish you a wonderful day. Bye, guys.